Hey everybody, Jeremy here bringing you another video and we're going to talk about the Caesar ET24 book scanner. I've had this item for almost two weeks now. I've had a little bit of time to play with it in between other things going on. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to uh, take a look at what this can do. So you should be seeing on your screen right now, um, in addition to me in the corner, you should be seeing uh, the O'Reilly 3rd Edition Learning the Bash Shell book that I've got over here on the mat under the scanner. Um, the nice thing about this is you can use this as an overhead scanner. It's got or, or an overhead projector type of device. And you can record it, which was part of the draw for me to get this particular uh, piece of equipment. Uh, along with it being one of the first book scanners that I'm aware of that offers the software in a Linux version. More on that later. So this is just capture out of the, uh, from the HDMI port going through a mirror box currently, uh, and into ScreenFlow to record this. Now, we'll switch over to the web browser. And if we go to Caesar.com, and I've not installed this on the Mac yet, so we're going to do this live. We're going to go to download software. My model is the ET24 Pro. And as you can see, it's got the software for Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, for Mac OS, for Windows XP even, Linux, which shows a lower version number, which is all right. And then it's got support for Arabic OCR in another Windows version. So we're going to grab the macOS version from the North America mirror. Say so save that. All right, we'll show that in the folder. Open the DMG file. Okay, we're going to agree to their license. Caesar scanner for Mac. Drag it to applications. All right. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to open up a new finder window and eject the Caesar scanner disk image. And we'll open the Caesar scanner app. Okay, here's another difference between the Linux version and the Mac version, and I'm assuming the Windows version as well. This version, they ask you for the serial number. Now, one thing to note if you're purchasing one of these scanners is the serial number is on the bottom base of the scanner and you'll want to grab that and take a picture of it with your phone or what have you before you set everything up. It just, it's easier that way. So I'm going to take this off screen and put in the serial number and confirm and I'll bring this right back. Okay, we're past that screen and we can send you tutorials by email. Choose where you bought Caesar from. Indiegogo is where I got it. And it wants my email. I'm going to take this off screen again real quick. Okay, and so we've got our software installed. And 
you can use the visual presenter mode without their software. Just something to keep in mind, but we're going to go to scanner mode. And this definitely looks different than the software on Linux, which again, we'll get to towards the end. Okay, so we've got scanner mode. We've got do about uh, version 5.3.2, copyright 2019. Okay, hopefully they can get an update out for this. Uh, let's see, color mode, first select the target file from the list on the right. Okay, so what if we want to do scan? Looking for device. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we've got the book, and I'm just going to do random pages here. Um, this is going to be black and white. And I'm going to go ahead and try to deal with these finger cots. And then I'll click the scan button foot pedal. And we'll see what we end up with. Okay, so what it gives you here is acknowledgement that I messed up. <laughs> we want facing pages for this. So we'll try this again. No harm, no foul. So the center line here is where we want to line up the crease of the book. And so we'll... get that lined up first and we should end up with something a little bit better so if we take a look here that looks pretty decent and look at the next page a uh, little bit of distortion here on the side, but again, nothing that we can't work with. So that is a quick overview of the Caesar scanner. I should mention that this device is now available on Amazon. Although I got it on Indiegogo and paid a lower price as such, but I had to wait a month to get it. Or almost five weeks, actually. Uh, ET24 Pro. They are selling it for $629 on Amazon. You may want to come down to this one, which is not sponsored. It's not an ad. Uh, so 629 and if you got Prime, it's and got a $32 coupon here in the U.S. And you've only got to wait until Sunday to get it. <laughs> um, so that's a trade-off. Um, you take a chance on Indiegogo and you wait, a, wait five weeks to get it. Or you pay a higher price on Amazon and get it in a couple of days. There's definitely a learning curve here. Um, go back to the software. We're going to do back. And so uh, we'll show this. If we do these two items here, export as a searchable PDF. Um, file type, um, okay, 
PDF quality medium. We're going to say best on that. We're going to confirm. And we're going to just call it bash.pdf and save it. Go. Go to recents. And look at bash.pdf. And as you can see, that is very readable. Not perfect. Um, some of the text is a little on the fuzzy side, but um, it may be very handy to have a reference book like this as a PDF. So uh, that gets us through the Mac version of the software. And I will likely do a follow-up video um, from the other room, from another room uh, on a different machine. I will go ahead and record with audio um, looking through the Linux version of the software, which looks quite different. I am going to roll some footage here at the end just so you can get an idea and that's going to have the overhead mode or projection mode. And then it will go through scanning some pages as well. Uh, I'm going to greatly speed that part up and we're going to push through. And that is going to bring us to the end of this first look at the Caesar ET24 Pro book scanner and overhead presentation scanner uh, and a look at two versions of their software. I want to thank all of you for your support. We are over 3,900 subscribers now. That's 3,900. And with a little luck, I'm going to be over 4,000 before the end of the year. I, I don't think that's going to be an issue, but hey, um, thank you for your support. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I don't know how many questions I'll really be able to answer about this device because I've only had it for about two weeks now. But I will try my best if you leave questions down in the comment section. So thank you once again. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video.